Did you know you burn as many calories having sex as you do running eight miles? Eight miles. Who runs eight miles in 45 seconds? It's crazy. All right, we are back with another Drive Across 65. Uh, season one, episode 16. Uh, we have a weekend preview, a uh, ton of football to talk about. The Thursday night recap, really, really interesting game. Uh, no UFC this weekend, sad face. Uh, I was ready, we've been running hot UFC. Uh, no fights this weekend. Let us start off with the Thursday night uh, uh, Steelers-Browns game. We had uh, the Steelers plus five and a half. Obviously, that didn't get home. Um, we also had, we, we, we threw in the daily pick, the, uh, the over. So we had mentioned during um, Tuesday's podcast that it could be an element game. There might be some weather. And there was. It was there was some wind in Cleveland. Uh, I made a post, in all of the irony of this show, I made a post. I saw Boswell warming up, kicking 50-yard field goals, straight through, no problem. Um, I drive across 65, make a post. Hey, there's no wind. There's no element. We don't have to worry about anything. Everybody's on the under. We're going to go over. In the most drive across 65 pineapples don't go on pizza fashion, second second drive in the game, Boswell misses a 50-yard field goal. Just put some weird English on it. Just whatever. All right, so uh, the Steelers didn't cover. Sad face. No big deal. Um we did have the over that did cash. It cashed really awkwardly. So, uh, 14, 13 at halftime, 27 points scored. We needed 38 to find two touchdowns or any, any mixture of point scorage, uh, in the second half to find 11 points, four field goals, whatever we needed was not out of reach by any means. It was actually very, very, we, there was a really good head spot there to be honest, but we don't lie a bit. So, need 11 points, Steelers are winning, everything's going good. Shout out to the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, if you're not watching on YouTube, got Cincinnati Reds, go. So, we need 11 points in the second half and for the Steelers to just not blow it. Third quarter, there's a total of two possessions uh, that last 35 minutes each. Weird football math. Uh, the quarters are only 15 minutes long, but they were the, they just milked the whole third. The third quarter didn't even count. Just nothing happened. It was sick. It was disgusting. Um, so on, so forth. Brown score. Steelers have the ball, fourth and five on the 26, tw maybe on the 25. 25 and a half, that's where it gets tricky too, part of the story. And they draw a penalty, Browns offsides, I believe it was, five yard penalty, goes from fourth and five to fourth and one. So it was fourth and five and a half, turns into a fourth and a half. Nevertheless, uh, so here's where we are. We need points for the over. We need the Steelers to do better than a field goal. Um, Ideally, we want the Steelers to go for it, and they did not. They elected to kick the field goal. If they get the yard, if they get a touchdown, whatever, we lock up. More than likely, we lock up the cover and the over. At the end of the day, it was a wash. It was a push. The daily pick got us there. Shout out. Um, the George Pickens catch. Wow. Wow. I know it's getting OBJ comparisons. It wasn't that. OBJ's level of difficulty was 12 out of 10. Uh, we're giving Pickens a 9.5 out of 10. It was a great catch. It wasn't the score. Uh, there was just way more, there was way too many factors in the OBJ's catch uh, rather than George Pickens, but we needed it, it helped us. Shout out George Pickens help catch. Uh, we did get a doink 
that was cool. Didn't affect anything. Could have hurt the over. We got there anyway. Doinks are cool. Always want to hear about doinks. Um, I still can't. It's It's been 21 hours, 20 hours, and I still haven't figured out why Tomlinson didn't go for it um, on fourth and a half from the 20. Uh, you can cover more ground, scoring a touchdown there, and then playing for the field goal, then vice versa. Maybe the analytics just say get the points now. I do appreciate the over being locked up in that position. Um, nevertheless, we pushed. Weird weekend. Weird game. Again, no UFC this weekend. Sad face. Uh, we're going to power through, though. We do have some football we like. Uh, tons to talk about. Uh, in true fashion, we're going to go list all the games. If you're here just to hear the games, I got your back. Um, start with college first. We'll talk about why at the NFL, do the honorable mentions. Uh, you all know the drill. Uh, Michigan minus 17 at home against Maryland. Uh, Michigan first half minus nine and a half. We're playing both of those. Um, Alabama first quarter minus nine and a half against Vandy. I wanted Alabama first half line, but there's just, it doesn't exist. It's nowhere. Uh, it's not. It's it's not out there. Uh, Tennessee Volunteers. Um, their team total over 37 and a half against Florida. I have a lot to talk about in that game. Um, there, there's a reason we're only going team total right there. Kansas, minus seven at home against Duke. I've already apologized till I was blue in the face, currently blue in the face, white in the face, pillow in the face. I've already apologized as much as I could to the Rock Chalk. We're supporting you guys, we're backing you guys. It's Battle of the Blue Bloods, Kansas versus Duke. Uh, let's go. First game, um, Michigan minus 17 at home uh, against Maryland. Uh, so Michigan blew Maryland out last year. You have essentially the same staff, same same coaches, uh, same QBs. Um, we've been on the Michigan uh, first quarter, first half, Michigan covering all that. Uh, all this year, we said we would uh, take another glance at it. Now that their uh, OOC is, uh, those games are done. I think it's going to be um, a prove-it game for Maryland. So, you know what, we're, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go, yeah, we're not going to go first quarter. We, we, we talked about first quarter, we've been on Michigan first quarter all year. We're, we're definitely going first half, we're going for the game. Probably a prove-it spot for Maryland, watch for them to come out hot. Um, I'm betting on Michigan to take over. Um, it's the first quarter is four and a half. Could it be 14, seven Michigan first quarter? Absolutely. Could it be 10 to seven? Could it be, uh, there's, there's too many situations where I feel like Maryland wants to score out of the gate early, try to catch Michigan on their heels. If you like Michigan minus four and a half first quarter, I support it. Uh, it's not going to be on our card. Um, Michigan uh, minus 17 for the game. First half minus nine and a half. Uh, Alabama first half is not out yet. First quarter minus nine and a half against Vandy. Uh, so we made a live in the past couple of years, uh, like we said before, uh, betting Alabama first halves. The line's not out. It's just not out. It's not there. They don't want us to bet it. They're, they're on to us. Uh, I checked up and down all the sports books. They're on to us. Uh, I don't think this is even a potential proven spot for Vandy. I think they just come out and lay down. Um, Alabama first uh, first quarter minus nine and a half. It's kind of juicy. It's minus 175. Keep that in mind, guys. The uh, Tennessee team total over 37 and a half at home against Florida. So, for the just allowed 28 points against uh, USF, um, Tennessee's only real competition this year uh, has been on the road against Pitt, and they put up 34. They're going to be at home. It's a rivalry game. They're going to come out hot. I don't I believe Tennessee's minus 10. I don't love the cover. The total's really high. I don't like the over. This game, it's a rivalry game. It's an SEC rivalry game. 
Um, this game can go so many ways. It could go 38-24 Tennessee. It could go 41-37 Tennessee. It could go 37-12 Tennessee. You got to watch out for the backdoor cover by Florida. You have to be aware of it. Um, and you also have to respect that Florida might not score. It could go either way. I love Tennessee to score. I'm I'm locked in on them scoring. Um, every scenario points me at it could go this way, it could go that way. Every equation ends with Tennessee scoring at least 38 points. Um, and even if, here's the other thing too. So let's say they have 31, let's say it scores 31-7, middle of the fourth quarter. Tennessee is not going to stop. They're going to keep scoring. They're going to run the score up against Florida. It's a rivalry game. You get in situations like that where Tennessee's still scoring, the over still may not come in, but the team total will. Tennessee team total over 37 and a half. The total is 62 and a half. Don't love it. Kansas minus seven against Duke. It's sort of a pander pick, okay? Uh, I got to be honest. I read Kansas preseason so wrong, so bad. Um, I don't feel like we're in a trappy letdown spot for Kansas. I know they're coming off a big, big dusting of uh, Houston. They still have a lot to prove. They got some top 25 votes, but we're still left out of the top 25, even though they come off the big win um, in convincing fashion. They, they, they're they 3-0, uh, big wins. The interesting thing about this game to me is the total opened up at 65.5, and, and it's dropped to 63.5. Guys, this um, uh, Ohio Valley season change, man, it's affecting all of us. The uh, the total in the game opened up at sixty five and a half down sixty three and a half. This feels like a really really easy over game. I'm trying to find the angle on why it's dropped. I don't think that will affect the Kansas cover. Still like the minus seven. I had it written down. I had Kansas Duke over. Um, I'm not gonna play it. We're not gonna play it. Jumping to Sunday, uh, Texans plus two and a half against Chicago. We kind of talked about that game last podcast. Uh, Bills, Dolphins over 52 on standby. On standby. This game's on standby. Uh, Jags plus seven. That's going to be our road dog of the week. The Steelers were this close to being the uh, drop cross 65 road dog of the week. And I couldn't talk myself into it. Jacks plus seven um, at the Chargers. We'll talk about it. I have Colts plus six at home against KC written down. It's down to five and a half now. I haven't brought myself to delete it. We're going to talk about that game too. This might not go on a card. Also on standby. A lot of NFL on standby this week. Um, Bucks Packers under 42. We're going to contradict that bet a little bit. We're going to take a Leonard Fournette uh, anytime touchdown score at minus 110. It's even money, essentially, uh, on Fournette to score a touchdown. So Texans plus two and a half at Chicago. Uh, Lovey's return to Chicago, as everybody knows. He used to coach at Chicago. The Bears aren't good. All right, they have what a lot of NFL experts, not me, not an expert, I just – I talk about sports sometimes. I'm not an expert. Uh, the Bears aren't good. They have a bottom tier roster. Okay, maybe including Justin Fields. Um, the Texans are be they're better. Okay, so this line is two and a half. The Bears get three. Every home team, our, every home team gets three for being at home. So they're saying the Texans are really a half point better than the Bears anyway. I like what uh, Mills has been doing for the Texans. They haven't been falling apart. Uh, a Levy Smith game in Chicago. 
Texans have been running well against competitive teams. The Bears are not competitive. Take the Texans. Not going to be the road dog of the week. It is a Jags plus seven is going to be the road dog of the week, but they are on the radar. Uh, Bills, Dolphins over 52. I have a novel written about this game, an absolute blockbuster written about this game. It's on standby. Hurricane Fiona. Uh, we're not going to talk about politics, but Hurricane Fiona uh, is heading towards Miami. Um, this game might be in jeopardy. Even if it's not, it could be a weather game, which just you throw all the stats out the window. It doesn't even matter. Um, I mean, uh, ha ha, the Dolphins can swim. Maybe. I really like the over on a real field, like uh, in a stadium. I think over 52 gets there by a mile. Um, I'm going to tell you guys some of the novel that I wrote. So they, I, I didn't think they could make the line high enough. Both of these teams come out hot scoring. Um, Mike McDaniel's uh, offense, his whole theory of, I got two fast guys, they're both going to run downfield, and you all have to catch them. Genius. It's working. I mean, Tyreek did leave with cramps um, at halftime last game, got juiced up, came back. They won. Um, RIP to anyone who had the over in the Monday night Bills Titans game. Um, maybe you got it at 48 and you pushed. I saw it at 48 and a half, 49 at a lot of places. Uh, the Bills uh, knee in on the Titans 16 with two minutes left, 41 to 7. Brutal. 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 Uh, so our Drive Across 65 uh, Road Dogs of the Week. Jags plus seven at the Chargers. You know we're on the Jags anyway. Um, Herbert still has a question mark next to his ne next to his name. I handicapped this game with Herbert in mind. Okay, so even if they do play insert random backup here, whoever it is doesn't matter. Don't care. I still like I like Jags obviously even more plus seven. Uh, the line hasn't moved. Um, they're not given a lot of information about um, Herbert's ribs. It's making me think he's going to play. Um, definitely not going to be healthy, obviously. I mean, he's hasn't had enough time to recover from a fractured rib in injury, obviously. Um, Jack's plus seven. Honorable mentions. I'm telling you guys, he's, these, these allergies in the Ohio Valley, man, they ain't no joke. Uh, shout out to everybody listening on Spotify, wondering what's going on. Uh, I'm repping the Cincinnati Reds Cup. Uh, trying not to squeak. Um, college football honorable mentions. Penn State minus 28 against Central Michigan. Uh, Central Michigan is very capable of getting blown out. We do respect Penn State. We are on them. Uh, we had them opening week against Purdue. We should have backed them against Auburn. Uh, chalk that one up. I almost want to feel like I should chalk that one up as a loss. Uh, you can't lose what you don't put on the table. The writing was on the wall. I mean, Auburn didn't even know who their quarterback was. It was just a tough place to play. Penn State minus 28, honorable mention against Central Michigan. Um, could be a letdown spot after the big game last week. We will see. Uh, Kentucky minus 26 and a half against uh, NIU. Kentucky just pitched a shutout against uh, Youngstown State uh, while covering. So I uh, believe the spread was, it doesn't matter. They pitched a shutout while covering, uh, coming off the big win against Florida. We didn't bet them because it looked like a letdown spot also. I was actually may have even leaned Youngstown State in that position just because of, um, again, it's just a letdown spot. Anytime you, you, you play a big game like that, it's a letdown spot. They didn't let that affect them. They covered. They pitched the shutout. Um, Chris Rodriguez coming back for the Ole Miss game. Um, this could be a look-ahead look game, too. Honorable mention, Kentucky match 26 and a half. This one I saw 
when I was about to sit down and start recording and I should have done research on it. Why, 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 why is, is Louisville, excuse me, is Louisville a 14 and a half point favorite over South Florida? Why on God's green is Louisville a 14 and a half point favorite over anybody? South Florida just ran with Florida. They're not horrible. Louisville sucks. Can't bet it. I can't get on the right side of Louisville. I can't. I can't figure them out. I respected them coming out of the gate against Syracuse. I lost that respect. Bet against them. Gained the respect back. Bet with them. I can't. I can't get on the right side. But why? There is no reason. If anybody who has not run bad betting Louisville this year takes out Florida in the points. I've run bad betting them. I can't figure it out. Take them in the point. There's no reason the University of Louisville Cardinals should be more than two score favorite over anybody. Anybody. Give me Vandy. I'll take Vandy in the points. Um, honorable mentions, NFL. This one's going a little, little bit longer than average, guys. Sorry. Uh, Broncos Niners under 44. Uh, Niners did just put 27 up against the Seahawks. Seahawks aren't good. Uh, majority of the defense is stagnant. All right. They're just, the, the Niners are weird, man. They're just, they're back and forth. Uh, we've seen both of these teams not score. We thought Russ, Russ was going to cook against the uh, Texans. He did not. Um, Broncos Niners under 44. Uh, Sunday night primetime game. It's going to suck. Uh, I like the under. Honorable mention. I also like the Bucks over the Packers. Now, this one's going to get a little windy. It's already 22 minutes into the video. I'm going to wrap this up, guys. I like the Bucks over the Packers. I sound like a Packers hater, okay? I took the Vikings to win AFC North. Um, I'll. Uh, I've been betting against the Packers. I love Aaron Rodgers. I wish he would have either set off into the sunset when it was due time or maybe went somewhere like San Francisco who was fishing for the quarterback. Um, maybe even the Colts are somewhere. You know what I mean? Just somewhere with some weapons where they didn't have to rebuild, who everybody already had their contracts. Um it sucks, man. I really wish Aaron Rodgers uh, was in a better spot. I like the Bucks. I like the under in that game, obviously. I like the Bucks. I like Fournette to score a touchdown. I have way too much invested interest in this game. I don't know where. It was puzzling me, too. I couldn't figure out where all the – I was just – I'm locked into that game. Um, the battle of the 0-2s. Raiders versus Titans. Both teams really, really got embarrassed in way different ways last week. The Titans got absolutely donkey kicked. 41-7. Um, Raiders blew a 20 nothing lead. They're 0-2. Uh, both teams are 0-2. One of these teams are going to come out and be 0-3. If you told me the Titans started the season 0-3, I would believe you. If you told me that the Raiders started the season 0-3, I would fall out of my chair. Honorable mention, give me the Raiders, minus two. And if this one misses, I'll just take all the takes back that I had on them. They're stressing me out. Uh, that about wraps it up, guys. I looked at the Monday night game. Don't love it. Um, Cowboys, Giants. Cowboys, obviously, still without Dak. Uh, the Giants might be kind of good. Um, I like what their offense has been doing. It's just a shit game. It's just a bad game. Giants um, won two games by four points, beat a really bad Titans team by one, beat what might be a really bad Carolina team by three. Dallas coming off the win against the Bengals. It's in New York. Um, weird game. Had to fade it. That's going to wrap us up, guys. Again, we're sad that there's no uh, UFC to bet this weekend. We're sad that the seasons are changing. Uh, love that football is back. It's fall, but listen to the voice, guys. It's uh, it's having it's taking its toll on me. Wraps us up. 
Hashtag drive across 65. Pineapples don't go on pizza. Love you guys. Um, you guys find me on TikTok now. I'm all over the place. Search drive. Uh, hashtag drive across 65. Find me everywhere. Good luck, everybody.